Hi gamers, I'm Sever Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we're doing something special. We are going to work on uh, design. So the goal is to um, at least set some basic um, design structure for uh, um, bases, like uh, a modular, what I, uh, I want to do is some um, modular base that can be uh, built in either orbiting around uh, some planet or in the asteroids um, as well as having it uh, on the surface of uh, an asteroid or a planet or moon so and the design has to be compatible with the new uh, transporters so the new transporter are smaller than the uh, Eagle transporter that I did before. So what we have here, let's see. We have, um, yeah, basically it's uh, three, four blocks wide. No, sorry, four blocks long. Now, um, wide it can be, uh, yeah, it can be more than that because the limiting factor here is the is the length so as you can see we have three blocks that um, are free and then the the two additional um, spaces here can be half a block because we have um, here we have the the um, the piston the elevator of the of the transporter so we can fit here like half a block for example so basically this was meant to have um, effective volume of three by three by three like this is uh, usually the the volume of um, of a big uh, device or a big um, yeah how it's called some for example if we have um, storage modules the big, the big uh, storage module would be three by three, right? For example, this one. So, this one, right? This is three by three by three, like three um, cubic blocks. A block is uh, like two and a half um, meters. So this easily fits um, inside the eagle transporter uh, uh, sorry the lunar transporter now so we need something like that so and i will start by uh, having like um, mm, a node module uh, a node module means that it's a module that is used to um, connect other modules and be like a pa passage so th I think uh, we should start uh, with that, like uh, this passage module, I will call it a node module. And the other requirement, well, one requirement is that it has to have um, uh, access points uh, in all its uh, six sides, because if it's a cube, then we will have um, access points uh, in in all its sides. and there will be then uh, six sides the other requirement is that we should be able to uh, to transfer power and to transfer um, gases and liquids like um, hydrogen for example and oxygen uh, what else yeah and we will do that so we are going to use a couple of mods. We will use the 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 pipe, uh, the pipes from the Icaster mod, and uh, also the unmergeable block mod, and this uh, this to connect uh, like these um, uh, tubes. And there's another mod that I will be using. Let me see. Uh, is the yeah, there's a, a connector passage uh, mod. Where is it now? Uh, which one is this? 
It's not that one, MA, no. So we have a couple of mods uh, here. Uh, it's not Sardos. But I I did a test before. Let's let's go for it. I will show you the block. Is this block right here? So this block is um ah uh, uh, yes, connector passageway. It's a connector passageway, so we can use this as a connector, so that means that we will have power from this. And also, you can go through it. So, in the past, I've used uh, the unmergeable block mod, for example, to have the, 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 the doors. But I think uh, probably this will make more sense, like it, it's more, well, maybe aesthetic, aesthetically is better. because i think uh yeah you can you can have some uh vessel just connecting through this uh, node and optionally it could it could merge i think but let's see like if if we have this type of connection then we don't need uh the merge blocks right but the but the issue is that with the unmergeable block, I think um, we still need to merge uh, to be able to transport um, cargo. But there's always the possibility that the, um, some other ship will dock into it without um, merging into it. So this is like um, yeah, this will be like a ship and not um, another module. Let's see what we can do. But this this uh, looks to me like a nice to have um, feature that we can use those to connect them together. So let's start with um, yeah. Let's start by setting up uh, our construction site. Yeah, we will make a new one, I suppose. Let's let's do that one here. So let's go for the Let's go and create. Uh, let me I like working with the white um, blocks. Let's create a base. And it will be, of course, a three by three. Then we will create uh, again a three by three. So this is three. Um, yeah, let's see if we can fit everything here. Well, let's let's place another one just in case. And then um, it should be like that. So imagine that these blocks that I'm placing right now are the passageways, right? So that would mean that um, if I go to the to the connector passage, let's put it here. By the way, um, yeah, I have to s to tell you which which mod is this because at the end, uh, ah, and there is this other mod. This is from uh, Darth um, Biomech. Uh, is this docking ring and the docking ring clamp? But I think this one doesn't. Docking ring. I th I don't I I'm not sure that this works. This is another system. Ah, right. This is huge. 
is very big this one yeah so probably I don't know let's try it with this one later on we can have okay but oops this is already bigger than or limits right am I right Ah, uh, look, and these also have the the cargo. Ah, uh, now I rem I don't remember. So let let's read here. The connector can be magnetically locked with other connectors to allow uh, cross grid distribution of items and power. Ah, great. So I I did forget this that the that this has in fact connection with. Um, that you can transfer items here with this one but let's test this I mean I'm not sure if this is going to um, work because I think we are exceeding somehow the the limits right am I right so if that's the case then we have to reduce the length that would be a shame well, these, these are the design challenges, right, of space engineers. You have to work with uh, all these dimensions and stuff. So let's um, spawn. Let's spawn the uh, lunar transporter. The B. I want the B. The B is the one that has more space. available so I'm not sure this is going to work but let's try it anyways Oh, you see that it's clipping there, right? It allows me to do it, but it's clipping. It's not a nice... It's too big. Look at that. Okay, th this, uh, this uh, mechanism... It's too big for for the for the lunar transporter. So what we are going to do, I wanted to test that, but this is not an issue because we can develop a way to transport the the, the module without like pu uh, placing every like all the the volume within the, the transporter I will show you because this is the limit it's w we cannot go um, it cannot be smaller than that this is the minimum so let's um, yeah let's go for the let's continue Let's continue and I will show you what I mean. We are not going to to fit this in the in the volume just below the transporter, but we are going to transport the the, the node with uh, some kind of ex extension so we don't we, we don't have to have like this limit of um, four blocks okay but now we are now we know what we, we have to do now the issue here now is we can have it we can have an 
horizontal um, horizontal nodes if it's just horizontal then it's easy to connect and we will need um, probably we will need for this the, the, the regular conveyors Okay, there we go. We will need something like this, right? Because otherwise we cannot do it airtight. In this in this way what we are doing is that we are um This could be one way to do it. Uh, we are um, tr we can transfer items through the conveyors. Right? So in this way we can transfer items through the conveyors and then um, let's see so the question now now i think we can get rid of these blocks right here no problem with that there we go okay so there's we have this passageway right but this passageway is not a th uh, it's not 3d is just in a plane and that's fine we can have that by the way we we actually don't need how can we do this ah because i said uh, remember i said that we we could use also the pipes right the advantage of using the pipes is that we could have um, airlocks here. That's a really cool idea. If we could have airlocks. So, for example, we could. Let's see, we could have a passageway here and then have it. Um, have airlocks right and we could have it either at the top or at the bottom depending for example let's um we could use the um, we could use which which mod is this i think it's the warfare warfare mod ah this one here these are the passageways so this is the vanilla passageway and you see that the vanilla passageway has a, 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 an opening in at the top, right? So, if we use this kind of passageway, we could have um, airlock here. The problem with that, well, that's not a problem, right? That wouldn't be a problem. Or but the cool thing about the because this passageway is used like this right we we would put this one here and then that one here and then that one here and then that one here and uh, yeah the the center is like a bit strange because it's like um there's a there's some level thing going on there of course we could place some um, like catwalk or, or something that will um, level this because you see here that when I go into the middle square um, my character goes down a bit it's like a, a, a small step and then you can just um, fix that by having something like this right it still has a step but it's not that much 
But I but there's an alternative to this and this is using this passageway. I think this is also this is this is this one is vanilla I think. It's a new passageway. I don't remember, but then there are the warfare uh, ones. I think these are warfare. Let me. Yeah, this is this is warfare, warfare mod. But these ones are vanilla. This passage, passage two. So, but for example, the one with the light is. Um, is warfare and I will use in the middle I would use this one so that's um, yeah that's somehow making me use it use the, the 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 warfare ones to have like this middle thing because this this one is just um, how it's called blending ah, and I think this also is blending with that right it's blending with a warfare uh, mod uh, passageways so for example we could have light ah, it's not exactly bl blending but it's very similar look it's very similar the oh but this doesn't work right it does this doesn't exactly work Mm -hmm. So we are forced here to use a door. Oops. So what does that mean? That means that the middle, the middle one has to be the. I think this only works if I put a double door, a sliding door. It's only possible. Because look, it's there. Ha there is a gap here, so this is not airtight, I guess. So at the end, we are forced to make the airlock in the middle. But yeah, that's not bad. It's not a bad thing. And at the top, we w we will have just the. The connections. At the top we will have connections. I would not use this here. Yeah, I will place the, the air vent at the bottom probably okay but now I think it's clear how much how, how big this will be because this is our basic design right here so yeah we will put doors all around maybe um, you decide that you don't need all the doors but yeah, to be like a generic design, I would put doors all around. Oh no, I deleted the wrong thing. Okay, so where are we? So, right like this. So there, we have like the passageways with the doors. And in the middle we have this block. And I would put air vents at the bottom.
I'm probably... What is it in the... What would, will be better, this one? I like these ones though. These are the industrial DLC um, blocks. They look like pipes. The alternative is to, is to use this um, pipe piping system from the mod. So this one at the top will will um, will transfer items, and here at the bottom we could have. Um, the vent system, right? but we should first we will remove this later let's see what we can do here but I will put at the bottom I will put um, an air vent Well, this one, this is tricky right here. Like this, you see? Ah, but this will be okay. Now I see the problem. I have a problem here. I think this this um, connection is not working for me. because i will show you first um we need vents right for example we well one vent in fact we cannot have more than one like this right so th there is this vent and this vent will um pressurize uh on the area or depressurize it by the way i I've seen some mods that are like airlocks, but I feel like we need we need a block um, or a system that is uh, an airlock in the sense that it can um, take the air out or or pressurize or depressurize, and we don't lose air because currently it's um, we tend to lose a air whatever system we we. Um, we apply we tend to lose air because the air escapes one way to avoid this is to have um, a depressurizing vent that is connected to a, a, an oxygen tank so you can store the, the, the oxygen you take out There we go. Yeah, with a, with a single vent, you can you can um, pressurize and depressurize the the module. If you have a t an oxygen tank that is somehow isolated from the rest and and it has like a constant amount of um, oxygen you can make sure that you don't lose um, oxygen because it's always like the same amount of oxygen coming in and coming out we can do that okay but i think this is fine ah it's just that the problem here is that the the that we cannot use this I think we're gonna use this uh, block we need a conveyor because the conveyor is airtight and the other one is not so yeah that's that's the thing So now, what do we have um, missing? So we have that. 
and let's place then the the rest of the of the things we're almost done here here are just the corners so this would be like uh, just horizontal this just horizontal connection we could have one that instead of being horizontal is um, it has one side is horizontal and another um, is vertical we could have something like that as well but to make all of them at once maybe it's it's uh, it's too much I don't know because always with the verticals you will need some kind of um, ladder, right? Okay, so what's missing now? I think that's everything. We can just close this. And additionally, I would place... Um, uh, an oxygen tank maybe two to be symmetric yeah we could place two oxygen tanks um, but how do we do that though uh, now there's another challenge here uh, okay so we could have what could we have? We could have like a conveyor, a conveyor system, right? So let's analyze this. Is this part here? Uh, the problem is, yeah, we have a small issue here. That the con that this uh, vent is connecting to the rest of the. Ah uh, no, it's not to the rest. This is in fact disconnected. Yeah, but from from the top is connected, right? Okay, okay. Guys, the issue that I see here is that this vent. this vent is connected to the rest of the system if we have if we want an airlock here we shouldn't connect to the rest it should be like isolated and then that vent should be connected to a to an oxygen tank and that oxygen tank if we use it only to pressurize and depressurize and it has always like a constant um, amount of oxygen then we we can preserve the the, the oxygen the issue is that currently it uh, is connected to the rest of the system and uh, probably um, there's not much space to go around it ah, but what we could do is to use the pipe mod for that yes and okay how do we do that and the the the, the thing is that we want we want two things right one is that we want um, oxygen to be able to refill the oxygen in that tank but it's not always uh, on that probably is achieved through uh, sorters, right? or yeah, there is a sorter Conveyor sorter can be configured to only pass specific items through or stop spe specific items from passing through 
source can be used to filter out unwanted materials or to collect specific I don't know, containers. Yes, I think they, they can also act as a valve, right? So we can prevent uh, things from coming in. Yeah, but this will require a whole piping system. It is it's a bit uh, tricky, and it cannot connect to like to these bottom areas, but um, bottom like um, connectors. But we can achieve something there with uh, the pipe. I will show you. Let's do it right away. The thing is that, um, yeah, the piping system itself will the 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 sorter and the the sorter will take space, and for the um, oxygen uh, tank we have two uh, two blocks, and that's a problem. So, for example, here, right, we can use that one. And then we can use that one. Ah, I have an idea. Yes. Well, this is where the piping comes handy. We could have, this one could be like a simple pipe and then here we can have the this system and then um, right and then we can have another one here and we can connect those two by another pipe like this for example you see now these two are connected and now we can just say well this one is having the sorter right this one will be the sorter Right, like this. This one sorts. And then... Um, we have to remove that one. Oh, well, I did it. I did it with the wrong one, right? So this would be that one. So here we have the, the oxygen um, thing. No, this won't work, right? This, um, because the problem here, now we have all this connection, uh, but if we put, ah, right, we, we, uh, no, we have to place the tank, the oxygen tank. Okay, this fits the oxygen tank down here. Let's go for the tank first. Uh, this can be... No, this has to be a sorter. 
No. Yeah, the issue here is that down here we cannot have disorders like this. But I have to make sure that uh, the the structure doesn't get disconnected. Let me take care of that first. Because we will everything will fall. Yeah, this is this is the challenge here. Like how do we um, do all these things? Now what I'm what I'm um, realizing is that in order for this to work with a with a with the airlock, we um, ah look at that. Of course, that was the issue here. So. Yeah, we will need to do um, to maybe not use the bottom part. Let's see. Wait a second. This is uh, the sorter. Let's put the sorter. The sorter was not was not in the right place. So this is the sorter, right? So oxygen is coming in, only coming in here. There's no. It cannot go. Um, like that. Oxygen is coming in, right? And then we have, we still can place the whole thing uh, here, like the whole oxygen tank, like this, you see? So now we have the tank connected only to the sorter. And then this tank has to uh, be connected to the vent. So we will have a vent here. Aha, uh -huh, like that. And we will have... We cannot have... Um, we cannot have a conveyor here because it will connect to everything else and we don't want that. So we have to uh, make a pipe uh, corner. And then we can connect these two with um, with the piping system, with the with these these ones here, like that. And that's it. So, and if we want connections. We can always have connections down here, like that, and like that. That's fine. That's not a problem. That's not a problem at all. And then we can close this at the top. So this would be the core, the like the node module. And it's um, yeah, it's four, it's four blocks tall. 
It's almost four by four, right? Four by four by four. It's almost, but not quite. Yeah, we can place other other um, decorations. I, I I will probably work more on on the aesthetics of this, but the basic principle is there, and it's that we have um, a module that um, you can um, you can use to connect um, other modules. That like th there is there are these uh, passageways, right? And also, it works as um, an airlock. So we have this airlock um, going on, an airlock that doesn't uh, lose um, oxygen. Yeah, and that's that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, so what do we need to test this? Of course, this doesn't have a battery yet. We could place a battery in one of the of the corners if we wanted to. But let's just um Let's just make a test with uh, with the airlock system. I don't know. We are in creative, so I don't know if we can really... The, the oxygen tank, I think, is full. We cannot really lose... Um, I don't know if we can lose oxygen. I have to test that. Because I think things are replenished somehow. So I don't know how good the test this would be. So let's place a battery now. The, 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 the system is powered. So let's see. So the first thing is we will uh, test that it's airtight. And we close all the doors. And yeah, it's airtight. Uh, now it's pressurized, right? Now let's see something here. The oxygen tank has it's filled forty nine percent. It's filled forty nine percent. If I take the air vent and depressurize on. It depressurizes. Ah, look, you see the the the. So in in creative, the oxygen tanks are filled to fifty percent, and we saw there that when we pressurize the the node, uh, it went below fifty percent. Now it's depressurized, so we can open the doors, right? It says that now it's not sealed. Now it says that it's sealed. And once we uh, click here and say, okay, um, we need to depressurize off. It goes again to full pressurization and we have 49.9% of the volume. That's great. So it works, guys. I think it works. The, th the other thing I would place here Mm, but I, I think there's no space. There, there should be like a a button where I can activate or deactivate the pressurization thing. But I don't see where I. I think I cannot place it. <laughs> I run out of space. This, uh, this, uh, 
unfortunate uh, thing about space engineers that we cannot place I don't know you guys if you if you've played uh, for example mm, interstellar rift they have a, a different system you can place as many devices af, as you want in the single cell like all the the, the like uh, it's like this um, interstellar rift is a is a sandbox uh, it's a sorry it's a open world game that where you can uh, build your ships your custom ships and they have also this grid system but uh, the difference is that you may place as many devices uh, as you want in in a single cell i think um, if space engineers would work like that it would be great but here it won't let me place anything for example here you cannot place there's no more available space so you will be forced to use like this um, these terminals right here to pressurize or depressurize right you will have to come here and look at the vent maybe if we hide everything else Show block in tool config, uh, show block in terminal, ah, like that. You just hide everything. If you hide everything, of course, it, it makes it easier. When you come here, you just have to select that one and say, okay, you can pressurize. But it's um, somehow it's a pity that you cannot do it in any other way okay guys but i think this exercise was i think successful the, the the next thing that i would do that is missing right now is uh now the the, the part where we we uh, we need to transport these um We need to transport the, the the node with the lunar transporter. Oh, I guess we need to. put it here a minute so one thing is now we need to to solve this issue how to transport this so I think this is not a, a, a big problem since we can always have um, some extension that will connect to the transporter uh, but also there's a, a very simple way to do this I will show you so so one simple way to do this is just by adding is this we will add um, a magnetic plate yeah this one we can just add a magnetic plate here and the thing would be we can just extend it can just extend it
really hard to go backwards. You see, like this. We just need to, to connect to use this um, this elevator to um, to just hook the 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 module with it. We just need to connect that. So where should we connect it? Like the best place would be in the if we could um, manage to bring it to the center, right? Something here. Just something like that. At some point, it, there, it's connected now. Now we just remove There we go And now all of this should be um, this type of lock. Oh, sorry. This one. Where is it? This one. There we go. There. That's it. So now we can transport it, right? This would be the way to transport it. Or a small module here. And that's it. And we can have like um, bigger modules. And we just have to stick them together. I would, uh, what I would like to see is if we can just um, transfer um, cargo between the two. I would like to see this. So there. Let's copy it. Let's put it like at the top of this thing here. Boom. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It's a little bit too hard. Or it's off. There. Perfect. So now let's let's connect them and see what happens. Mm, it's a bit complicated maneuver, but we should be able to do it. Where is it? There.
Let's connect it. I think it's easier if we connect it sideways, right? Oops, oops. We are... <laughs> that was um, kind of dangerous. Okay, let's try to... a little bit wobbly I know the alternative one alternative is to put um, a merge block at the end of the of the um, of the piston and put a merge block on top of the module that would um, improve the stability I think but for now we're good Let's see. One thing is that the other module doesn't have power. But once we connect it, we should be able to... to power it. There we go, we are close, uh, but not that much. Yeah, it's tricky, but we're almost there. Come on, come on. Uh huh. Okay. There, 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 there. So, what happens if I. There. We're almost there. No, where are these connectors? Okay, we don't have them here. So how are we going to connect them? If I press P, I'm afraid that if I press P... No, it's not... I don't know what's exactly going on here. They are not con... They are like um, ready to connect, but they are not connected. So let me see, probably this because I don't have the merge block there. Um, but if we go here... connector which one is this uh, there must be one that is ready to lock ah this one there we go we did it we did it they're connected okay now oh now I think I will disconnect that one Oh, <laughs> I took them both. Okay, I just wanted to disconnect the the eagle, the the lunar transporter. Uh, okay, let's see. Maybe I just I will just uh, put them on the ground. <laughs> this is difficult okay but yeah what I want to do at the end is the the only um, additional test I want to, to make is this thing with uh, with the cargo oh 
Oops. Okay. I have destroyed. But now I want to just disconnect. Um, there. Oh, it doesn't disconnect. Okay. I have destroyed them. Okay. I will leave it like that. Um, ah, because they are the landing ones. Okay. Yeah. I will do that. I will do something different. a little bit difficult but I, I think I can do it <laughs> this this is a disaster right now <laughs> yeah and I forgot that it's difficult to go backwards okay it doesn't matter I will let, let it just drift because the only thing I want to see is if um, if we can just um, transfer items from one to the other ah we don't have energy Lord. it seems we don't have energy so if I go here yeah so basically uh, no I cannot transfer anything from here is it because we don't have energy? I can connect to this one. Okay, let's let's put a battery. It's a little bit disastrous, but I think we are almost there. Yeah, look, we can transfer to the other uh, connectors. That's great. And look, the, the connectors themselves uh, take some, some load. That's a lot. 72,000 liters. Well, I think this is, this is uh, our test is um, successful here. <laughs> now I have to tell you which, which mod is this. Which mod is that? I don't remember... Where is this mod? Emotes, Faye, it's not Faye... Mm. Because now it's, it's really good. Like, we can just... Um, We can just use it for like before. I would use the the unmergeable blocks, right? Ah, yes, Sardo's mods. This is the connector passageway from Sardo. This is the one that lets you um, transfer power and items using this single block here. I I think it's very good this this mod. Yeah, but <laughs> I think I will leave it here, guys. Um, it's enough disasters for today but I um, think you know what I'm trying to do let's see um, the next uh, episodes I will be trying to expand on on these um, modular designs and um, yeah let, let's see because this is the, the just the beginning because this is only the, 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 the passageway and then we can make a, um, another um, module that will have um, other like a, a perhaps the next one w w should have like a survival kit right so let's see where this all goes but yeah I hope you like the video and I hope to see you in the next one. This is Cyber Settler signing off.